Hey everyone, Server Stealer here. Why don't we go on a little LCS trip? Starting now. And we have arrived. Downtown Anderson, Indiana. And look at the downtown area. Paramount Theater there, a very old theater. And there's my LCS. Let's go inside, shall we? All right. I collected winning image, and we're gonna go inside. Hey, there he is. Stop. How are you guys doing? I'm allowed to call you just by your first name here, right? Oh, so yeah. Fine. Absolutely. We're going to keep the camera low. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is my <laughs> coin dealer here. His name's Kurt. And he's going to take us inside here and Come take on a look in. at some things. Don't mind the mess. We're always a little, a little crazy around here. Ah, yes. going everywhere. <laughs> Why? Ooh. don't feel like summer out there, does it? No kidding, man. Goodness. I am not ready for the. Uh, I'm shooting for not YouTube. Ready for Can winter. I use your first name at all, or just call you buddy? We won't show faces. Um, I actually don't want to be on YouTube. At we're all. Not, yeah, yeah, we're not showing faces at all or anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can call me Matt. All right, we'll just call you Matt. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're not, I don't want my parents nope, on YouTube nope, at all. Nope. <laughs> that, we we got that earlier. Okay. So. And we can always cut anything out too. So okay, don't worry. Please, I want to. Please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we are. And he said you got some eagles for me. Yeah, we got a few eagles in. We got these in this tray here. We got a few more up in the case up here. Uh, I don't think I, I'll have to check in the back and see if I have any more eagles back here in the back. How you doing on Morgans? Oh, actually a little low right now. A oh. lot low. <laughs> Been a lot low for a while. I've, I've <laughs> sort of just like not abandoned going after the numismatics but i've been just stocking up on bullion lately that's been yeah. my thing just well i'll tell you cheap you know we price our morgans low enough that people come in buy them and they go right out the door oh so, yeah you know oh, what i mean don't i know yeah don't i know so yeah and uh, i got, got huge, i got two huge collections in the back that i'm still going through so if you guys if i don't have you ever seen the back office there no, I haven't. You want to see the back office? You gonna take me to the back office? Come on, I'll let you see my no, map. Let's go to the back. Don't office. make don't make fun of my piles now. Okay, no, 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 no. I won't. Well, this is a rare thing. I don't bring many behind the counter. Back here. Behind the scenes. <laughs> well, that's where we do all of our eBay stuff and all of our Facebook the postings and all kinds of stuff. I literally have complete sets of Lincoln Sons, including the 09 S V D B, the 14 D, the 31 S, the 22 oh, look D. Look at all this. Stacks and stacks, an entire, you know, entire rolling cart of nothing but <laughs> coins to go through. I uh, got back from the uh, show this weekend. I'm still unloading that. What show and, was that? Uh, FUBA down in Indianapolis. Oh. And, uh, of course, we got, you know, this is, we do uh, Facebook postings. There's a photo, <laughs> the photo set up there. Oh, nice. And uh, a little bit of everything. Yeah. So... It's sort but, of like uh, your sorting room before is, it goes out. Yes, this is exactly what it is. I, I, well, right. I, I buy it, it comes in, and then i got to go through books and books and books and books and books. You never know what you're going to find. Here's a complete Roosevelt set. Oh, really? Yeah, a complete Roosevelt set. I mean, you just literally walks in the door, and i got to go through it and, you know. So. Now, I've been thinking about one of those one time just to do it, but, you know, we, we got a little fun one that we, you know, whenever I buy a whole bunch of Mercs and Roosevelts that spot from you. Mm -hmm. They're just fillers, but, yeah, you know, those look like they're in a little bit better condition. Those got the proofs in there, too? Yeah, it's got uh, yeah. the, it's got all the regulars, all of them in there. Uh, and actually, I'm sorry, this, one, this one's got the later proof starting, I think, in 68. Yeah, it starts with 68. It's got the proofs from 68 on it. Oh, right. But it does have all of them in there, all the way up till they stopped collecting, which looks like in 2000 is when they stopped. Yeah. So, but uh, this is how it came in the door, and haven't pulled anything out of it or anything, haven't checked any of it for condition. Literally, I just buy them, and then as I have right. time to go through them. And, you know. and, you know, and since we're at sort of like talking about that now, why don't you give just a little summary of what it is that you do? You, you told me before you go to other states 
pick up either estate sales mm -hmm. or people that are wanting to get rid of their collections. Yeah, we literally get calls of people who will say, hey, listen, I got this, my such and such left it to me, or we've decided we're going to retire and move away and we don't want it anymore, or I've been collecting for X many years and my kids don't want it. Uh, you know, as a, the uh, example with all of the pennies over there, um, most of those came from one person and his family decided they did not want the items. So all they, right. You know, away they go. They're, they're, you know, they, they don't want them anymore. The family would rather he enjoy the money, so they call a guy like me, and we go out there and look at the items. And depending on the situation, it's different every time you go. Sometimes you go in, they say, hey, listen, this is what I got, this is what I want, and we negotiate a deal. Sometimes we go through coin after coin after coin after coin, literally going at every single item. All right. Uh, other times we have guys who will bring me, um, they'll send me a list, like this file right here is a gentleman, and uh, I don't want to show his name, but... He sent me a list. Let me pull off the cover sheet so you can't see his name here. But he'll send me a list, and this is what he has in his collection. And this is what he would like for me to make him an offer on. Wow. And the conservative value on this group, um, I believe, was uh, $20,347 was his conservative estimate of the values of the coins. Um, and then we go out, look at them, and then if we agree on the conditions or the values of the coins, I make him an offer based on that and go from there. And then I load it all up and haul it away. Yeah. Sometimes people walk in the door. We had a gentleman come in the other day, walked in the door. He'd been an Ike Dollar collector. He had literally 975 Ike Dollars. Wow. Uh, he had every proof, every, a lot every clad, GSA. A lot, a lot, oh, yeah. A lot uh, most so, yeah. so they're not really basically... No, oh, most boy. of that stuff has no no numismatic right. value. They were mostly circulated, and there were a few better ones. And you know, but we bought the whole collection, and then I just bulk off the stuff that doesn't mean anything to me, and then no no numismatic collector is going to want. We bulk it off to the big box buyers, and uh, then they package it up and sell it to to new collectors that are putting sets together, or you know, they they uh, put them up. I hate to say it, but they put them up on some of those big websites, and people buy them for a premium oh, that yeah. we can never get. Yeah. But. Absolutely. But yeah, we. Uh, we buy every day. That's a little bit better date, but not a very good condition, Morgan. No. Not good condition, but definitely better date. Uh, that's a 94.0, I think. He had two of them. 94.0. Yeah. So. One of those hard years. I think I actually, the one I got at home is a 94.0. And it's in better condition than this, but I paid for it too. A little yeah. bit. So, the 94.0 on gray sheet right now. Uh, looks like the bottom line on the 94O starts at $35 and goes up on gray sheet. So, you know, it's a little bit better date, not not great condition. Uh, I'd probably let that one go for 28 bucks. Right. Well, shoot. Wish I would have known that earlier. Yeah. I think the one I got, I, I'm missing the 93 and 95. Mm -hmm. I continue to wait to find the right one on those two yeah. particularly. And I almost want those two just to be graded because of the amount of money I'm going to have to throw. Yeah. No, Absolutely. but I told you, if you found a good one, that's right. call yeah, me. When, they, a when, they, when a good one comes in the door, you'll get, yeah. you'll get the opportunity. Sometimes you find a little fun gem. Stuff. Oh, yeah. There's a 21 piece. Not in very good shape, but, you know, any 21 piece is not a bad thing to have. No, right, right. <laughs> no, that's a high relief. Yeah, unfortunately, not a very good condition high relief. No, but, it's you not. Know. I finally picked up one of those a couple months ago at the Indianapolis, uh, the K... The Knights of Knights Columbus. Of Columbus. Knights that's of the Columbus. FUBA show, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's where you went. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that what they call it, FUBA? Well, they, they're the ones who actually put it on. Uh, FUBA Coins and Numismatics ah. are the ones who actually put the show on at the Knights of Columbus. So he's in charge. But, yeah, it's, it's a good show. Uh, so I've only been there once. I wanted to make it again, but, you know. Second, sorta, su second Sunday of every month, or when, with the exception of last month. You know, well, we went there, like, shortly after you told me about that. Yeah. Cashed in on their breakfast, too. Mm -hmm. was good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was really they do good. a big breakfast room, a buffet style, throughout seven bucks, and you can have anything you want, as many trips as you want, so. Yep. That's the last item that has to, doesn't have to be shipped. I already did the shipping for today. That oh, it's I, sold. That one's already sold, yep. Right. Gentleman's pending pickup. You'll notice the bottom of the tray says pending pickup. <laughs> well, it's actually not pending payment. That one's one where we've got a trade going on. He bought that one, and I bought something from him, so when he comes in, we swap it out. It's actually technically paid for, but. You know what's vastly missing from my collection is just silver quarters. Constitutional, I mean, and Are I saw, that, that's, what, that's what it was. Yeah, but I'm trying to, those look like really better condition. I don't know if I'm just going for constitutional junk or just for weight. Well, these are all the silver ones. So there's a 76S, a 79S clad. I think that 79S is clad. Yeah, it is. And then uh, 42, 42S, 43D, a 58, a 61, a 63, a 63D, and a 64. 
I think I've got a 32. Yeah, there's a 32 on the counter right there. 32. Yep, first 32. Year. First year, but that is first the Philadelphia year. Mint, so it's not super high dollar. Right. But uh, take them all. You can have them all for four and a quarter across the board. Four and a quarter across the board. Yep. I mean, and if you look at proofs, that's a pretty good price on the proofs. And these are all the silver ones, so they're already they've got their silver value. You may well, not, maybe maybe uh, you may not want that seventy nine type S because that's just a clad, but the rest of them are all silver. Well, the name's Silver Steeler. You know, I don't huh. really go after clad at all, but you know that. Already. I know that. I know hey, that. Hey, while we're here, I've got um, and and we'll cut this up into different segments if we need to when I load it up to YouTube. But I've got a I, as I was explaining on the phone, I had my first giveaway. Mm -hmm. And it was a 1923 piece dollar, Philadelphia, common, common date, probably the most common one out of them, but they were in fantastic shape, which yeah. usually takes that then, it's not so common now. Right. I would have said that would have been anywhere from a 63, 64, 65 MS grade, somewhere right. in that general vicinity, probably a 64. Well, he got it the other day and I was explaining to him, we were chatting back and forth that there's a story behind that. And... I've been here so many times and I sort of forget a little bit of that story. <laughs> so, I mean, the, you go ahead and explain to me and then I'll have some questions. Well, about some it. of those, some of those, I think the one group you bought were ones that when we opened them, they had uh, had a lot of the dye oil still on them. They were, uh, you know, nicely, very nicely struck. Right. Uh, and the reason why uh, they were so impressive, I believe, was because they didn't clean the dyes thoroughly enough after lubricating the dyes. So when you get... Um, when, you, when you manufacture metals or numismatics, they use dyes, as you know. And if mm -hmm. any, anyone watching this probably is pretty familiar with how coins are made, um, you basically have three pieces to the die. You have the, the collar, the, uh, the bottom die, and the top die. Well, periodically those have to be cleaned, serviced, and relubricated to keep them from wearing down and or creating weak strikes. Okay, right. So in between those, when they clean them, service them, and or if necessary, polish the dies, they uh, add a little lubricant, and they're supposed to then remove the excess lubricant before the dies are started back up again. Of course, in any factory situation, things happen. People get distracted, they get busy, they are doing multiple things. Right. And sometimes they don't necessarily remove all the oil. Now, that can cause two things to happen. Either one, you have an extremely well-lubricated coin that gets struck very well, or you could even have a coin that has too much lubrication on there and it causes a, a strike through or a bad die strike. And luckily, the, the group that you were referring to were ones that were actually very well struck. Right. They had re there was not an excessive amount of, of dye oil or dye lubricant But enough to bring out even more detail. Yeah, the, the coin struck extremely well. It was a nice slide on the metal, so to speak. When the when the dies pushed together, the, the metal was well lubricated and went deeply into the recesses and, and made a nicer relief on the coins than you normally see. Hmm. And, and, you know, the questions that I have about that then is, is you had a whole tube of those. Mm -hmm. Did those somehow stay together throughout yeah, almost they, 100 years? They came together as a tube. Right. Yeah, so, we, I mean, but did they even use tubes back in the 1900s? I mean, well, so how are these, basically what my question is, coming off the, let's just call it the assembly line. Right. How did they get grouped up in a group to where... Well, they, they would stayed together. Most of the time they were put in bags, bags back right, then. Right, And then right. the banks would put them into trays or tubes. Then collectors would further put them into some kind of holding device. Okay, so that um, was being done in the early 1900s. It even. was, but they were always almost always cardboard or, or right. you know, the, the paper style tubes, which were fairly similar with now. And a lot of times you'll find them that they have very, very, very bad cardboard around them. Well, luckily at some point in time, someone had switched these out to Tubes. the the PVC tubes. And right. luck, luckily... Older PVC, if you know anything about numismatics, older PVC, when it interacts with UV light, will break down and become brittle. And, and in right. some cases, if it's if it's right up against the coin, can cause discoloration. Luckily, these didn't have that. But they were in the extreme. They were in extremely yeah, hard so, I mean, when they I, came out. I almost think that this is like their brothers and sisters. They were just minted right after the next yeah. coin. I mean, it was one right after another. And to have something like that almost 100 years later, that they're still, I mean... My impression was they probably were bought by a collector at the time from the bank in the bag. I would assume the, the collector probably bought the entire bag at the time. You know, right. They bought an entire mint bag of right. X many. And each, a lot of times banks would break them down from large bags to small bags, so they may have had them in smaller bags of, say, 100, 200, 250. I've seen all of the above. Right. Individual branch banks put things, in fact, I can show you some bank bags that have different, uh, different banks on them, and they're literally the... Um, the the white linen style bags and yeah. the banks impress their names on a lot of them or have different you know different mm -hmm. values put on them. sometimes they don't even have a value it could be that they would use the same generic bag for every right. uh, every different denomination of coining you know pennies nickels nine nickels dimes quarters halves sure. all of it went in the same bag not together obviously but when someone would come in and say I want to buy two hundred Morgan dollars or two hundred piece dollars they would 
they would literally go in and say, I want 200 silver dollars. And they would get that bag full, take uh -huh. it home and do with it whatever they want to do. And it's quite common to find. It's the same thing as, you know, the old 52 and 53 uh, sets that you find in the cardboard boxes that were shipped from the mint um, before they started putting them into uh, package sets where you had a, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and all that laid out mm -hmm. in cellophane. They were still putting them in cellophane back then in the 50s, but they were putting one coin and then another coin and then another coin, and then somebody would assemble the set and put it together into a tiny cardboard box that was three inches by, well, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths inches. All right. When you find a mint set in those, which technically those are proof sets, but you find a, one of those sets in those, and they're in that condition, there's an extremely high premium because of the way they were done. I mean, if you pull any gray sheet and you look at proof sets, you'll notice a gigantic skyrocket. And since we're talking about it, we can go ahead and just take it out here. Uh, let's see here. So we flip back here to the mint and proof sets. And if you look in the early 50s especially, yeah, you'll cool. notice that that you know right about right here with the 56 line you go from from 50 57 to 56 is a gigantic jump then you go back to 55 as a flat pack when you get into the 52s and 53s those are you know triple digit coin values for those coins you know so the dealer's going to pay around 200 and ask around 220 for the for one of those in a tiny little you know two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch box right. or two and seven eight right. inch box and if, they, and if they're in that little tiny cardboard box that's one of the you see this ugly little cardboard box that has tarnished over years, and, and sometimes it's worth, and it's worth and way it's more way much, yeah. than an absolutely yeah. gorgeous mint set. Yeah, that's in, I've you know, around proofsets.com has a few of those, and there is a line once you get to a certain point. But uh, I mean, to end the whole Yankee thing for Yankee stacking, those are literally coins that were probably produced one right after another. Down yeah, there. yeah, most likely and, came right off in the same assembly run. Yeah. Right, assembly run. So that's the that's the story behind that. It's not, you know, it's just. I like I like a coin that has a story to it. Yeah. And I told him I remember you saying something about that coin in particular, which you just won the other day. He says it's the best piece dollar he's got in his collection, <laughs> uh, um, um, condition wise. Yeah. So, you know, it, they are nice. I still got four of them at home, and they're beautiful. It almost tore me just to get rid of that one, but it well, was like, yeah, you know, it's like oh, I got four others, you know. And if memory serves, <laughs> I think the day you were here, you were tempted to buy the tube because I had several tubes, but those yeah. were so nice. You almost bought the tube. You left, and two days later, called and said, "Hey, you still have them?" And yeah. nope, they're gone. Yeah, I should have jumped on. I got the nineteen twenty one Morgan tube off you. Remember yeah. that one's yeah. in BU, and yeah, I, nothing special about a twenty one. But when you got twenty of them, that I think you gave me that roll for like 340 350 bucks or something like that yeah why not jump on them i mean and that's why i got them and then those benjis too those were beautiful yep remember those so. oh yeah yeah and you just never know what you're and that's the the joy of this business we never know what's going to walk in the door no right you know when you that's get why i gotta check back with you so often it's like you yeah. know i know you're so busy that sometimes you don't you know i'm not going to call silver steeler now uh you know i'll, I'll you know and then i got a call it's like yeah it's just been so busy come on in it's like yeah come in here it's like Wow. Yeah, and it changes every day. And I does. never know. I mean, it literally, does. if you'd come in here two days ago, I had probably 50 of these boxes full of coins, and each one was a different varietal. So, you know, one guy had one tube would have been nothing but, uh, 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 well, some of these, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, yeah, I'm drawing a complete blank here. Uh, Civil War tokens, uh, not not you know not currency tokens. Uh, we had another another whole row, nothing but Susan B. Anthony proofs, another whole row of uh, well the Standing Liberty quarters. I mean we had we had boxes and boxes and boxes of them, and luckily you know this, it was right before the show, so we're pretty happy with that. We were able to move them off fairly quickly and share them with other dealers. Who's that remind you of? Lake House Beach. Lake House Beach. <laughs> he loves these Standing Liberties. SLQs. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I, I've I've got a couple, but maybe one day I'll reach in. But I've got a YouTuber out there who just absolutely loves those standing liberties. Hey, hold off on these quarters. Let me go up there and see what else you got. Sure. I didn't I didn't get a really good look in there. Sure. I, you know, I've been buying a bunch of silver bullion rounds lately too. Yeah. I don't know what you got up there regarding that, but I I know I'll I'll take most of those eagles, but are the colored ones part of the what you how many did you say you had? I don't know how many you're up there for sure. I know there was close to a dozen. Give or take. Uh, silver eagle remaining. Yeah, we had a holographic overlay eagle, yeah. And yeah. Platinum holographic overlay. Not, not my favorite, but some people love them. No. Don't like them colored. Don't like them holographic. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we don't care for the colored ones that much. Grab uh -huh. these. 
I mean, I can definitely give you a good deal on it, but it's, you know, I can't. Yeah, I can't well, I mean, milk. and you know my, you know my little rules about eagles. I will not buy a graded eagle. Well, right. I think Matt, I think yeah. Matt knows that more than. That. Yeah, I, I just neither unless they were yep. like. Yeah. Unless unless somebody's giving me darn near close to spot, then I buy it. Like the proof ones right. that are the inverse of one another. Like you'll have the sh the the high tone, the high shine plain, and then the relief will be burnished, and the vice versa. Right. I like those, and the only way to get those is be a graded proof. Well, we, yeah, and we got we got that 2012 set and the 2013 two coin set where they had the reverse proof yeah. on them and stuff. But even those aren't graded. They're still they're still costly though. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So. Uh, what is? Oh, you're going through some nickels, huh? You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> come in the door. I just, I again with me, it's always the the higher the dominant denomination, the more interest I have in it. So, I know there's a lot of penny collectors out there, but it's probably my least favorite coin. There's a five dollar gold in there. Is five there? Dollar, yeah, five dollar ten. Five dollar gold. Yeah, five dollar ten ounce. Well, I think you, mine's a ten dollar. That would be a quarter ounce. Is it a quarter ounce? That, yeah, those are tenth ounce of five dollars, or the ten dollars a quarter ounce. Oh, so this is a tenth ounce. That's a tenth ounce. Tenth yes. Ounce. Mm -hmm. Just for uh, giggles, what are you charging for that? Melt. One uh, one thirty three ninety. One thirty three ninety. Why'd you give me that look? You want it now, don't you? Winning Image wants it now. <laughs> I told you I was on a little bit of a budget. And we're going to blow right through that. Well, I'll take all these eagles here. Okay. And what is that? Is that a? That is a, a tenth ounce silver round. <laughs> tenth ounce silver round. Yeah, fifty cents each. Year. <laughs> that makes ten. Uh, ounce oh, he's got a skull round. too. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Huh. All right, so how many eagles we got here? I'll just stack them up. You tell me. Um, what did you say? Seventeen twenty-five a piece on these for you today? Yeah. If anybody else walking in the door, they're eighteen bucks. Oh, I like that. That's called uh, customer appreciation day. Right. Well, you always buy more than two or three or four. Uh, right? <laughs> yes, I do. Three, four, five. I got here. Six, seven. Wait. Make sure yeah. they're all coins and no runs. Yeah. Now those wouldn't be there. I don't need any. There's seven here. Eight, nine. Yeah. No sunshine mint. I'll take those two in there. Okay. But I'll leave. I'll leave the graded one for you. Uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm not in love with anything. I mean, I, I, I'm. You know me. I'm a penny to Morgan. Matt laughs because he he knows I won't buy a graded one. I, I think that's going to be like just part of my thing. I will not buy a graded. Silver American Eagle. Unless just, it was really, really unless cheap. Unless it was really, really cheap. <laughs> so you're selling these two here for yep. seventeen twenty five too. So how yep. many? They're did not, they're not great or anything. They're just somebody bought them in a fancy right. they, you know. You know what's gonna you know what I'm gonna do with them, right? Crack them probably. Yeah, I'm gonna crack them, I'm gonna put them right in my tube. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's eleven eagles. And you know what else interested me? I saw this in your cabinet. Are we buying the gold? I don't know. We're buying our second. We only have one gold piece at home. Mm -hmm. I want Other the Kennedy. Than, she wants that 2014 Kennedy. We had one come in and went out the same day. Literally came in. Those come with a little bit of a premium. They too, do. Don't they? they do. Yeah. And and we happen to be able to. We carried the extra boxes for them, so we put it in a box. And the guy yeah. saw it. He's like, "Oh, got to have that right away." Didn't even didn't even question the price. He just took it straight at full price. Yeah. So. All right. So what are all these? Are these 64? Oh, you got more 64 Kennedys, huh? I saw the front one was 64. That one's a 64. Someone's dropped that in the wrong tray. There's only two 64s. No, two these are, I think these are all 40%ers, I think. Yeah, I got enough 40%ers. <laughs> I actually have 399 of them, and mm -hmm. I won a giveaway the other night, and somebody's giving me a 68 40%er. Finally hit number 400. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count all the ones in the proof sets. Right. Okay, and did you want to see these quarters? Are those constitutional? Yep. Oh, wow. All I silver. Have, I have yet to start any of that Look yet. Look at that one. I know. It's probably yeah, that 64. Was, it was a proof that somebody brought in loose. It wasn't separated or anything. So. 62. 
This shines. All right, I almost feel like I should have my gloves what the heck in. Is this? That it's is another the, one of them commemorative one dollar things, isn't it? Dolly Madison, yeah. Two piece Dolly Madison. One is silver, one is clad. Oh. One well, is business cool. strike, one is silver strike. That's like the So you're gonna give Silver Steeler the discount because he's bought so much today, right? I always take care of you. That's right, he does. So here's your, your info. Huh. It shows you right there. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I'm a liar. Oh, these are both Silver Strike, it says. What? I was going to say that. They are both Silver Strike. Oh, that one on the right, which yep, I was these, thinking was the clad one. There, there's, there, is a, there is a clad version of these, but that is these are both the Silver Strike. So what's the year on that thing? 19... I don't remember the Madison, what year it is. Oh, my old eyes are... Well, 99. 1999. 99. Yep. I mean, obviously the 90% seller. I see, I see what it is. Yeah, they're, they're both are, but one is one is the proof strike and one is the regular strike, but they're both in the silver. Interesting. We'll have to feature a video on that if I go to do it. Where are you selling it to me for? Mm, let you have the pair for $35. Yeah, that's... That's just a little bit above almost spot. Yeah, and you're getting a fancy box to hold them in. All right. I like fancy boxes. <laughs> there you go. No, you don't. <laughs> this, is, this is the guy who won't buy anything great and doesn't like fancy boxes. Well, I just, I, it's the American Silver Eagles. Right. I, I don't right, want to harp right. on that in the video, but I mean, I just think that anyone that goes and gets those things graded sometimes is just wasting their money. I look at it as a pure bullion coin with maybe a little bit. If I go to sell those, like back to you, what would you give me on those? Well, right now I'm paying full melt plus a quarter, so. Full melt plus a quarter. Yeah. So full melt today is fourteen ninety one. So fifteen. What that will be fifteen. So at least least are holding their spot. So what if oh, I yeah. was to, what if I was just come in with like a regular bullion silver coin? What are you? I'm a dollar back, so thirteen ninety right now. So if I was like the most common one, the buffalo. Silver round, you would pay a dollar under spot to get that. Uh, most of the time, yes, but I mean, if now if you and you're bringing me a hundred of them or a, a large group of them, I'll treat you much nicer than that. But yeah, usually, you're a, a guy walking in the street with just one of them. I'm a dollar back a spot. Right. Um, you know, someone bringing in a large group of stuff. I had a guy bring me in um, tubes of American Gold Eagles. You know, and when he brings those in, I, I get him like ninety eight percent a spot. So. The difference there is I'm able to make a little bit more money because I can sell them all at one shot to right off to the big guys and they're gone. So right. uh, I don't have to sit on it for more than a day and I make a small profit. I'm okay with that. Now, if I get when I get one, two or three of these guys, I can't send that off to anybody other than someone like yourself who wants to come in and buy eight or ten or fifteen at a time. That's about as big as we get locally unless I send them off, in which case I have to send them off in bags of a hundred or a thousand count. So if I got to send off a hundred ounces or a thousand ounces at a time and I got to sit on it for, you know, two weeks to a month to get to that point. I can't pay him 98% of milk. Right. Especially when the big boxes are only giving me, you know, 97, 9, 98, 99, 9, you know, on that stuff. And then silver, they don't give quite that good of a, of a payout on it. So, mm. you know, when you're talking to a dealer like myself in the middle, we, we've got to make a profit also. So if, if I'm getting 98, I can't give you 98. i got to make something. So I, Right, uh, right. Well, that makes sense. Yep. And then, of course, I don't like to melt coins down. So unless they're really bad, like I've got a couple of mercs back here that are going to go into the 90% melt bucket because they're so bad that they're, they're they not They don't really... even have dates on them? Oh, dates? Are you kidding? They're, one of them is three quarters <laughs> of the coin gone. The other one is, I mean, when they get that bad, um, oh, where did we get it from? Which one? Those two ugly... Should have brought a mic. Those two ugly dimes that were from, that came in yesterday. Well, they might have gotten thrown over here already. What date was this quarter? Those I don't remember. 62? Yeah, they were two really, really, really ugly. 60, dogs. yeah, it is a 62. Yeah, it looked like that came right out of the... Pretty. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody just tore apart a proof well, set. And... All right. I think we're going to buy that. We're, we're going to catch up with Yankee. Oh, yeah, we're catching up with Yankee. <laughs> we're just doing it in smaller coins. Oh, uh, he's got on his when channel. They get, when they get to looking that bad, you, oh, wow. there's nothing left to that. That's literally just melt those puppies down. You know, the, uh, they, those used to be mercury dimes, and now they are nothing oh but. Oh, my gosh. You know, nothing but melt silver. So I've seen some made up coins, but that one may take that one that's missing half of it. Yeah. <laughs> that may take the cake. The crunchy one? Yeah, see now. 
when I you, you ask me about what I get excited about, things like this when they come in wrecked from a uh, piece from the wreck of the Atocha set in 24 karat gold, that's what gets me excited. Oh yeah, I was gonna. So I was what is gonna ask you. Go ahead, explain that again. So this is a piece of eight from the that was from the wreck of the Atocha. We do have the paperwork for it, and uh, one of the Mel Fisher pieces. And of course, it's set in solid gold. The bezel's solid gold, and of course, the coin is uh, Spanish silver. Wow! And uh, if you do your research on the Atocha, you'll find it it uh, sunk off of the Florida Keys, and uh, is the to date the largest private privately found. Uh, numismatic hoard ever recovered from Spanish sunken silver. Huh. And, uh, I mean, they, they hold out uh, ingots of silver. Thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. And, of course, if you know the history of the Fisher Museum's argument with the state of Florida, the state of Florida tried to seize it, even though the um, the, the metals were actually found in open water. Um, they went through a huge... <laughs> yeah, they went through, through a huge lawsuit for several years. They ended up finally settling, and the the Fisher family ended up getting the majority of the silver. They gave part of the part of the treasure to the state of Florida to preserve in a museum, and part of it ended up being uh -huh. the, being the property of the uh, Fisher treasure hunters. And of course, they uh, they have a museum. If you ever go to Key West, you can go to their museum and actually go inside there. And I've got photographs of me holding a nine hundred thousand dollar gold chain wrapped around my neck with two uh -huh. security guards behind me. <laughs> yeah, well, of course, right. But uh, yeah, you, you get some pretty cool pieces, and of course, when these things walk in the door, you're like, "Oh, I got to buy that." So All you know, right. we get stuff like this periodically. Um, no, that's cool. What actually, would you say the What would you say the value on that is? Uh, this would retail somewhere in the neighborhood of around four hundred ninety five dollars. Um, that's not you know, bad. so it's not not terribly expensive. No. A good more than half of that is just the metals alone. I mean, you've got you know, right. this is this is close to an ounce of metal here. But keep in mind that a lot of that is. It's like I think it was got to hold it at least once. Yeah, it weighed. I think uh, it weighed something like uh, I want to say twenty twenty three point four grams. I think is what it weighed. But uh, a lot of that, of course, is in the gold weight. But because you, know. you pretty much have my my budget sitting in my hand for oh, yeah. today's. <laughs> well, this this one actually, I may have a home for it. But the person who might be getting it doesn't know that that's going to be the case. So. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so you never know what's going to turn up. <laughs> We're going to take. What would you say you're going for this? Uh, One thirty-three fifty for the gold. Yep. Getting some gold today. Yep, and if you look at melt right now, uh, that's been going up here. lately. Gold has. Yeah, it's at thirteen thirty-nine. So you're actually getting it right now for forty cents below melt. All right. So. Yeah, okay. Silver can't make up its mind too, but it really seems like it's at fifteen dollars an ounce. It's at one stuff. Just stay Hubby around. around. Yeah, just stay right there. So what you're telling me is you really want the Hunt Brothers to go back to manipulating a silver price again. Not yet. I want, <laughs> not yet. I want to fill up my monster box first. Right? Yeah. And, well, you know, I mean, I, this this will get me close to six rolls. Get the Chinese to so, start. You get getting the Chinese to start buying silver instead of gold. That might make a difference. Uh, I'm surprised you're not buying the 10 ounce A mark bar I got in there. They have plenty of silver. 10 ounces of silver. It's only because I'm so focused on that monster box uh -huh. right now that 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 dips into my monster box. Sure, I just it's a half a tube. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I just, I mean, I don't even know if I was going to go after those, but I, you know, these dollar ones, these commemoratives. But if I can find them at the right price, I'm going to pick them up now. You know, yeah, it's going to make me chase all of them down eventually because you know that'll be just a pet peeve of mine that I don't have all of them. Well, let me tell you, so, if you decide to start collecting commemoratives, let me know, because I get them in here and I buy them at the right price. I can move them on for you. I can help you fill your collection oh, yeah. for, you know, behind, If it's the right price, Kurt, you know me. That's yeah. that's what I'm all about. If Because I know some of these commemoratives can have a premium on it. I've oh, seen it. a lot of them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and so maybe I'll never get them all, but I bought those two Olympic ones off you a little while ago. Well, I will tell you that earlier this year, I literally had every single Liberty. commemorative mm -hmm. made with the exception of the Isabella Quarter in here. I literally had wow. everything sitting in the shop. It didn't I last that. <laughs> I, I had them stacked on the floor. I had them stacked over here. I, I, I put them out in the cage. Did you forget my phone number? Well, yes it's, and no. I didn't really forget your phone number, but I had someone who said, listen, if you got the complete set, he was willing to pay me 10% over ask price in uh, gray sheet. So I think that total deal was like uh, thirteen thousand seven hundred dollars, and mm -hmm. he was like, "I, you know, I wanted." And I told him, "I said I don't have the Isabella quarter there, but we did. You know, we had the the uh, both strikes of the uh, of the Columbia Exposition half dollar. We had the 
Um, I mean, we had the Lafayette, we had everything, and they were all in there. Now, more than half of them were in the mint packaging like the Dolly there, but the older ones, of course, they, they're not in mint packaging. There was a uh, Columbia Exposition ticket in with that group, too, which is kind of cool. Oh, no, no, yeah. So. Absolutely. So let me get my little pile over here that we got going here so far. Mm-hmm. Wing, you want to take a look at? If the Eagles are they separately priced or all the same? I did them at bulk. Bulk? Yeah. Seventeen twenty-five across the board. Eleven. Eleven. Mm-hmm. And then the Dolly Madison was at thirty-five. And then let's look at some of the constitutional. Just a little constitutional. What sure. Do you, what do you, I got to pull all these out. I'll just take every single query you got. Okay. Do you want the ones in the back too? No. Thirty-five. Because I'm mostly going for constitutional. Sure. For you know, I mean, maybe one day when I want to chase that, but right now I'm just trying to. Sure. My whole name of the game right now when it comes to collecting is I'm just gold. wait, mm -hmm. wait, yeah, wait. Uh, do like Mike Mizak does on the home shopping. Uh, they were talking about that earlier today. Down, Who yeah, was? Uh, one, one, of, one of my other groups was talking about, oh, Muzak, convincing <laughs> people to buy stuff that is really, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, man, he's so, he's those innovative coins right now. He is so about those. I saw his on the channel the other day selling the PD and S for, Hundred bucks for all three of them, graded. I mean, yeah, I'm like. <laughs> There's another coin that shouldn't be graded. Yeah, another one. Actually, I agree with the Eagles. Oh, you got more Mercs. Kennedys. You better get them. We gave out thirty of them. Yeah, better throw the Mercs in there then. <laughs> Are you doing the ten ounce bar too? No, 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 no I'm not going to do the ten ounce it, bar. It He's going to throw the ten ounce bar in for fan appreciation day. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 oh no! I've, my coin dealer did has, I, did has I died. Did I charge ninety dollars an hour for video? <laughs> <laughs> hey, while we're while we're sitting there talking Are about you, you that revenue yet? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm not monetized. No, um, we should get you there. Yeah, I know. Well, I got a lot of subs to go yet. Um, why don't you give out your uh, some info where people can find you on the internet? Oh well, we're uh, located. We're Dragon Sword Coin and Jewelry and Gaming. In uh, Anderson, Indiana, you can go to uh, Facebook and find us on there, Dragon's Word Coin and Jewelry. Uh, you can find us on uh, Google, uh, you know, Dragon's Word Coin, Jewelry, and Gaming. Uh, if you type in Coin Shop in Anderson or Gaming Shop in Anderson or Hobby Shop in Anderson, we come up that way. Uh, our web page is, oh God, Dragon's Word Coin and Jewelry dot com. Um, forgive me, they just, uh, the, the gentleman who helps me manage my web page just got done changing some things, so it uh, is not what it was. It used to be a... Uh, uh, dot net now it's dot com uh -huh. but uh yeah we're located on the corner of meridian and 13th street in anderson indiana so 1240 meridian street we're here uh, tuesday through saturday for coins we are open on sundays but uh on sundays you got to make sure i'm here or matt's here because usually we're only doing gaming on sundays but uh all right we're uh, we're here every day 10 o'clock in the morning and then uh there's usually someone here until about nine o'clock at night every day so, yeah, feel free to stop by and see us and bring your goodies, and we'll be glad to take a look at them or come on in here and see well, if we've got anything For most of my YouTubers, it probably would be a lot easier trying to get stuff off you on the Internet. Sure, because yeah, absolutely. Send me know. a message. Uh, emails uh, dragons hoard coin n jewelry at yahoo.com, and uh, that goes to the store. All the staff and myself can see that. So, And we'll put all the links in the description, everyone about well, his you. store. So. We appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's show them all a total, and then we'll end this video and... Let you guys get back. I'll just buy all this constitutional here. I'll buy the okay. marks, the quarters, and the... Did you count the dollar value yet up? Or No, I haven't right. yet. I'll get you there. All right. So what are you charging me for the constitutional? Ten times face. Ten times face. Okay, that is a good deal. So you have one, two, three, four, five dollars and ten cents... So, doing that newfangled math. That's $51. $51. That's what it sounds like to me. All right. All so, right. So, we got 51 plus just shot of all this 133.5 plus Well, it's almost better than going to Indianapolis at the coin show. <laughs> I don't have to go as far for starters. <laughs> right? Well, 
And of course, we got great food right nearby, so you can you can leave here and have lunch or stop by in your lunch hour. Yeah, that's where we're going. Looks like 409.25. dollars 25 That's not a bad haul for the day. You even got some gold. Yeah, you got some gold in there. Yankee, we're coming for you. <laughs> this guy has a tube. He calls it the Yankee Cannon. Uh huh. He's got a tube of 21 ounce coins in there. Uh huh. And this tube. And he just every now and then likes to just bring it out and some of his adventures and stuff. He calls it the Yankee Canyon, and everyone talks about it on YouTube because, I mean, <laughs> well, when you think about that tube he's got in his hand, what's he got? He's got uh, over $20,000 in value, probably twenty-five dollars to $30,000 by the time I'll it's done. i tell you done. what. Here you go. Ready? Yeah. $410. See? All right. Now you can add that to the stack. Now you got some fractional in there. You got you got a British <laughs> fractional and a, that's, a little that's, airplane. That's in the days of the apocalypse when I could just give somebody right. one of those and say, "Get me across town." What's the total constitutional silver? Fifty-one dollars. Fifty-one. Yeah. Let's add it a new category. Yep. And you know what you got to do for me since I'm picking up uh, needles? Of course, I'll grab you a tube. <laughs> He knows me too well. And see, that's another thing you don't get. It. That's something you don't get when you do it on the internet. No, you, you don't. don't. Free, you don't get free tubes. Don't I get, get free, free tubes. tubes at my LCS, everyone. <laughs> Just so you know. Free tubes. Well, we get those monster boxes in and crack them out. got to do something with that's tubes. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. That's, this is why I don't work for the NBA. <laughs> he <Baseball>. just <laughs> did or, uh, not baseball. catch that. Yeah, I really didn't. I didn't. No. It, went, it went on the floor. And there's my tube. Now, here's your tube. Now, you, you do realize that you've got, I think, five or six of them encapsulated. Well, I, so I do, yeah. They'll be out. I'll leave that to you. Yeah, I'll do that later. All I'll right. I'll do that later and get them in the tube. And, of course, I'm going to drop them in there sideways. It's not going to work. Well, listen, everyone. We're going to shut this off and uh, let these two get back to their work, and we're going to get out of here. This is my local LCS. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.